I want to talk a little bit about a couple of wows that I've experienced in life. Um, the first um, has to do with my sobriety day. Um, I got sober in 1997 on March 6th. Um, and about uh, three, four months later, um, Lori uh, told me that uh, we were going to have a baby, a second baby. Actually, I think I knew this already. And what I was learning was the ultrasound had happened and we were getting a due date. And the due date just happened to be March 6th. I love that coincidence. Um, that is a, uh, a wow that just keeps on giving. Um, it felt like a little uh, blink of the eye from the eternal one. Um, the other wow I want to just name, um, I wonder if, if others experience this, but sometimes early in the morning after I've, uh, I do a practice of meditation and prayer, uh, the dog will come and nuzzle up and it's a signal, can I go for a walk? And so I take the dog on the normal route that we go on every morning. And sometimes I feel like I get a glimpse of reality as it actually is. That all the culture and all the noise is sort of brushed away. And it's just this vibrating moment of eternity, things as they actually are. And it's my own little wow that just feels special to me. Um, the last thing I want to mention was my last Saturday. I um, was alone. Lori wasn't feeling great. And uh, I was walking down to Columbia City to get some dinner. And uh, on the way down, I ran into a friend and uh, we caught up. I hadn't really seen him since uh, COVID. And uh, uh, we talked about the heat wave and about how our kids were doing. And it was just good to see him again and feel like that connection is still there. Um, and as I was walking through Columbia City, who should I just randomly bump into but Barbara Souter there on the corner. And we went and had dinner. And it was wonderful. Um, and later, uh, as I walked home, I just was sort of relishing these, you know, encounters. And my neighbors were just sitting out in the backyard and invited me to join them. And we just reflected on things. And as I re-enter following COVID, I feel like this network of interconnectedness is starting to come back. Um, and so much of that is about our communion with each other. And I wanted to just take a moment to pray. Gracious God, as we re-encounter each other, our neighbors, we give thanks for that connection and the network of connections that animates our lives. It makes us really close to you and to each other. And in missing that in some ways in the last year, it just is such a blessing to encounter each other again and to see the, the grace of God. In my fellow congregants, in my neighborhood, in my communities.